Hello, hello, hello. Andy here for What Culture Wrestling, back again with another morning news update. And this, my friends, is a big one in every sense of the word. Now, as you probably all know by now, Brock Lesnar was advertised for this week's Monday Night Raw, but he didn't actually show up. This led to WWE scripting a promo in which Roman Reigns shot on the Universal Champion and his part-time schedule. But while this part of it was clearly a work, there's a little bit more to the story. Nobody really seems to know why Brock wasn't there. It's entirely possible that the company just pulled him out at the last minute, but Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez have suggested that maybe, just maybe, the Beast no-showed the event. According to Uncle Dave on Wrestling Observer Radio, WWE were forced to completely rewrite a planned Lesnar vs Reigns confrontation at the very last minute. This suggests to me that maybe the non-appearance wasn't planned. Now this could have huge implications for WrestleMania 34. Brock is obviously scheduled to defend his Universal title against Roman Reigns, who won the Elimination Chamber this past weekend, but what if it was a no-show, and what if he does it again? Well, it seems like WWE fortunately have a backup plan in place, and his name is Braun Strowman. Now, it was previously rumoured that Braun would meet Intercontinental Champion The Miz at WrestleMania, but given that Miz wrestled Finn Balor and Seth Rollins on Raw, and Braun was farting around with Elias instead, it's pretty safe to say that the plans have changed. Old Melty reckons that if something happens to Lesnar again before the event, then Strowman will be thrown into the main event in his place, with him and Reigns presumably fighting for what would be a vacant Universal title. Now this sounds cool because we were all pining for Strowman to win the Elimination Chamber, and him and Roman always have fantastic matches, but it's problematic too. Everyone knows that WrestleMania 34 is going to be Roman's next big coronation. Now, if he beats Brock, he's obviously going to get booed. But what if he goes over Braun, the hottest star in the company? There'll be hell on. Frankly, this thing sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. Regardless, if there is something to this Brock situation and WWE have to pull him out, Strowman really is the only guy with the credibility to throw into such a huge spot. Or maybe if there's nothing to the Brock storyline at all, we'll just throw the monster among men into the Universal title match and make it a triple threat. Whatever the case, we'll likely find out soon, as the Beast is advertised to be on Raw in Detroit in two weeks. If he shows up there, it's probably safe to say that WrestleMania is fine. But what do you reckon of all this? Good idea? Bad idea? Stuck in the middle like some kind of centrist dad? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, I've been Andy for What Culture Wrestling and I'll see you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe below. And if you're looking for more content like this, then try a few things that are floating about around my ears. It might be fun. I can't promise it though, but it might be.